landed. About to go pick up our luggage and everything. And yeah. So we just picked up our luggage and now we are about to board the bus to <laughs> go to our resort. Walk thing outside. Such a beautiful view. So cute. So we are headed to the bar and then we are gonna hit the beach and yeah the resort is beautiful and i can't wait to get a tan and yeah
snacks. And yeah, AT being's really fun. I'm riding passenger. And yeah, super fun. Come once again to Hacienda Ceniza. Here, actually, we are on one of the highest points of the ranch. You drive or um, ride to one of the highest points of the ranch. As you can see, you have a completely uh, view of the bay. Today is a nice day for us. It's a little bit windy, so just be careful with the things um, with the wind. Uh, up here, actually, it's where one of your crew guides actually lives with her four kids and his wife over here, Idelpa. Uh, Gilberto Antonio, one of your crew guides, he actually lives up, he lives up here. There is no electricity up here, so everything you are about to have that it's cooked, prepared, or hot, it's prepared all style, on the wood. Uh, so that means also there is no Wi-Fi. I, there's no kids, but but I always said that because they always go crazy, so there's no way. So we have to talk. <laughs> so um, up here, what you can see that they're doing right now is they're making uh, home style homemade tortillas. This is really typical, and this is really really traditional. This is something that they learned from their moms and their grandmothers since they're kids. It's not an easy job. It's actually hard and they made it by hand and um, as you can see the one that I'm going to offer you, they look the same. They look all made like machine, but they do it by hand and that's the tricky part, but also the tricky part is trying to do that with your own hands, right? Because it's too hot and they always manage the, everything by the hand. So it's, 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 for me it's like always amazing how they don't get burned, burned right? So they're making homemade tortillas. We also have water. Uh, we have pineapple, we have watermelon, and you're really lucky because it came on the dry season. So right now it's giving for us that uh, we are really spoiled on fruits. This is the best time. Yeah. So we are uh, about to make coffee. So we are going to use the coffee, so I'm going to explain you how is um, how people used to make coffee in Costa Rica when there were no electricity in the houses. This is like the grandfather of the coffee maker. So you are about to see how people make it when there were no electricity. If you are not a fan of the coffee, at least you should try it because the taste is different from the beginning because we boil the water on the wood. So that's make the water get a different taste. The, 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 the temperature goes even more high because it's wood. And then um, what Idelba is going to do is she's going to pass the water through the sock. We call this a sock. People say that older is the sock, better is the taste but we change the sock often, so it's okay. And it's nobody's sock, so it's okay. If you want a personal flavor, you can use your own sock, but here we have to get the, we have to be sanitized, so this is our, I need sock. So she passed the water through the sock, and that makes it the process even more different because it gets more oxygen than when you do it in your house on a regular machine, coffee machine. So even if you're not a fan, at least you can try it a little bit so you can taste the difference. What is inside is regular coffee from the grocery. There is, there is nothing different on the coffee. What makes it different is the whole process from boiling the water on the wood to make it pass through the sock and get more oxygen to get on the bottom. Uh, the only thing I I'm, I'm have to ask you about the coffee it's that please, uh, my china is too exquisite. So grab it from the ear because it will get hot. Just chilling. Just chilling. <laughs> 
first time kayaking it's going pretty well so far you know kind of getting the hang of it and yeah so so beautiful out here last night here and we have a company dinner at um seven and then a happy hour at six so we are back in the room showering getting ready um today we woke up early we went kayaking kayaking was super fun i've never been kayaking before i'm definitely going to be sore when i wake up because it takes a lot of strength um what else we just chilled by the beach, by the pool, had drinks, and just, you know, relaxed and had a good time. Um, Costa Rica is beautiful. This resort is amazing, and I'm having the best time ever. And this was a much needed, you know, vacation. Just soaking in the sun, feeling good, you know, feeling the sand between my toes. And yeah, I'm having a blast. So fun.